I think the, the through line for me is as large language models kind of burst onto the scene, you know, in, in roughly two years ago, what became apparent very quickly was that the choke point for realizing some of the ambitions of that technology was data centers. It was it was power, it was compute, it was all these things. And so what you saw was an incredible, I think, gravity towards trying to build that out. And then that coincided with a public sentiment and a, an elected administration that was looking to onshore some of these things. And so at the same time, we had a great new technology that was in need of power and data centers. We also had increased incentive to build these things out here kind of in the U.S. or at least, you know, um, uh, re reasonably so, you know, kind of nearest neighbors, that kind of thing. And so I think just the, the confluence of those two, you know, maybe three factors led to this boom in it. And then what we've also seen is kind of at least, you know, me kind of being a, an observer of the space is as large language models have gotten increasingly better at coding, I think you have some of the most talented people in the world saying software is going to be commoditized. What can I do in kind of the atoms spaces of the world, right? This will this will be extended in a conversation later on, um, you know, maybe today or, or otherwise when we speak about, you know, robotics and other kind of real world things. But I think this also runs kind of to both, you know, poles of the stack if you will, all the way to data centers, right? How do we make data more efficient? How do we make data more powerful? Where can we put these data centers, right? If that includes, you know, on Earth, as we kind of alluded to last episode, in space, that kind of thing. And I think what you have is this um, maybe collective consciousness of software used to be kind of, you know, the first and foremost for a lot of the smartest people coming out of universities or otherwise. And we've just, I think, identified a new piece of the value chain and we've got talented people heading in that direction. And anytime you have the most valuable company in the world, you know, being in the middle of that sector, you're just going to draw talent.